Hey everyone, so this weekend I had a quick getaway with my sister and we went up in the mountains close to my home and we just spent the weekend together and did lots of fun things. So in this video I'm going to do a show and tell of what we did and then I'm going to talk about some accessibility points that I noticed along the way. My name is Angela and I'm a visually impaired designer. So we started our weekend by getting dinner and we went to a pizza place that provides gluten-free crust which is awesome. This was my first time trying this restaurant and it's called Via 313. And I thought the gluten-free crust was the best pizza crust that I've ever had that's gluten-free. It tasted really good to me. It had a really crispy crust and I just really enjoyed it. And so it was really nice to have a place that had options for someone with dietary needs. As for the menu here, they have some that are printed that they hand you when you sit down and they also have some online. These menus were very straightforward, black text with a white background. A couple of highlighted things were on a light mint background with a colored text and those were a little harder to read but it wasn't a big deal because it wasn't the main things that I was looking at when trying to pick my menu option. And if you can't see the printed one because you don't have enough vision, the option to see the online one was always there. I can't speak to if it was screen reader friendly because I didn't use it because I was able to use the print menu this time, which is always exciting. Once we were done with dinner, it was time for us to leave the valley and go up in the mountains for the rest of our weekend. So the first activity we did on Friday evening was to go up to Sundance and go see a play. We went to see Cinderella and at Sundance, if you haven't been there, it's an outdoor theater and so you're sitting in nature and it's just a really fun environment to be in. The views are so gorgeous in the mountains. The drive up was so nice and pleasant. We really enjoyed the drive up. The play was so good. They did so well dancing and singing and it was just fun to be there and I really enjoyed it. Some accessibility points about going to the play. It's kind of a hard thing to get up to the play because it is high in the mountain. And so you kind of have to drive up, get on a shuttle and then take a truck up. You can hike up, but it's kind of strenuous, actually very strenuous. And so when we went, we were gonna walk up. However, we had to go to will call first. And that just made it so that we took up the shuttle because it was faster and we were running late. All right, and as someone who's visually impaired, a difficult thing is always being able to see and understand and follow what's happening on stage when you can't see all the little details. I did buy good tickets, so I bought some that were in the center and relatively close to the front. I didn't wanna spend the money to be in the very front or super close, but I got in the middle, which helped me see a lot and I was able to see more than I thought I would be able to see, so that part was nice. Something I would suggest to anyone who has a visual impairment or is blind and they want to be able to see better, you can call ahead when you're buying your tickets. Some places for concerts and plays and such will have seats specifically saved for people who have disabilities and then you can sit closer. But I probably should have. It wouldn't have hurt to call ahead and see if they had seats for this circumstance. Something I didn't think about prior was the fact that this was an outdoor play. And so it started when it was light and bright and sunny outside. And then by the time that it ended, it was dark and hard to see. Also the second half of the play, there was light shining on everything. And so it also made my eyes a little blurry and harder to see what was going on in the play. It ended up being okay, but that is definitely something to keep in mind for anyone where bright lights or being in the dark is more difficult for you. All right, so the last accessibility point I have for you about the play is the design of the playbill. Now the program was relatively easy to see. It was on a white background um, for most of it. The name of the scenes were in yellow text and that was definitely very hard for me to see compared to who was in each scene. And I could see that fine because that was in black. But the parts where it said in yellow what the scene was called, I definitely could not read that very well. They did have an option to get an online playbill, which was nice, especially because I mentioned that half the play is in the dark. And so once we hit intermission, it was dark. And if you wanted to look at the program, you would have to either use your flashlight or some other way to see the menu in the dark. 
but if you had pulled it up on your phone with the QR code that they provided, you could turn the brightness down on your phone and look at the program that way, which is really nice. So once the play was over, it was like 10 or 11 at night. And so it was time for us to go where we were gonna stay for the night. We stayed in a bed and breakfast in Heber, Utah. And this was about a 30 minute drive from Sundance. This bed and breakfast was so cute. This was my moment of like splurging and staying in a bed and breakfast. I've never done that before and it was really fun. And the reason why I decided to do it was because it just gave me the vibes of the Gilmore Girls bed and breakfast. And I just thought it would be really fun because me and my sister who I went with both really enjoy Gilmore Girls. And I just thought that going there would be a really fun atmosphere and make it that much more special and memorable. This bed and breakfast has 13 bedrooms and there's one bedroom on the main floor that's accessible for wheelchairs and the rest of them aren't. So if you're in a wheelchair or you have a mobility need where you need a ramp, there's one room that you could book. Me and my sister stayed in the Coral Suite, which was a room just off of the kitchen. And we had a king bed that we shared together. It came with a nice bathroom, and then the bedroom had a kitchenette in it, a cute fireplace, and it was just a very fun atmosphere to be in. It's decorated so cute, and like the time period that it was built in, which was 1902, and it was just fun to be in a place that wasn't so modern or like anything else that you've been in. They have a cute little outdoor backyard area where you can sit out there and they have barbecues and everything back there if you want to interact there. And so since it was a bed and breakfast, you know, the first part is sleeping there and then you go and you have breakfast with people who are there. We went first thing in the morning because we had activities planned and so we were the first people to order or get our breakfast. I ordered some crepes that were savory and I really enjoyed them. They had an interesting texture to them and it had cheese and bacon and stuff and it was just so good. And then my sister got an omelette. They definitely were very kind and willing to help us with our dietary needs when it came to our food. So after breakfast, we went to this place called the Midway Crater, which is just a city next to Heber. And as you approach this crater, you go and you see a hill and it just looks like this big massive hill. And then you go inside and you see this rock and cavern look where it's inside the cave and you go and you swim in the hot springs. So you wear a life jacket and then you can swim around. There was people at the same time who were doing scuba diving lessons and people who were also doing snorkeling. And then you can do just normal swimming in there as well. It's really warm and it felt really relaxing to just lay and float on your back and enjoy the atmosphere. I love doing it first thing in the morning. It was a little tricky to get in and out of the water just because it was a natural cave. They had like a dock that made it so that you could go and then a ladder that would get you down in the water. But because of the wave currents inside this natural spring, it was like moving us around and you had not very much control of where you're moving. So it was definitely a workout. So after that, we spent the rest of the day getting pedicures and I got glow in the dark pink nail polish which was fun i really liked that and then we went shopping and then we ended the day by going out to eat at a place called farm kitchen and this place has a really well designed menu it's just white with black text it's very clean simple easy to read i could read it from pretty far away compared to other menus and i really enjoyed that and it was just a great atmosphere. It has very good, healthy options. It has a lot of consideration for people with dietary needs and also just in general, people who want to be healthy. So this was a fun place to go. And I got a burger, but I got it on a sourdough bread. After we had our lunch, we went ahead and parted ways and went home. It was such a great weekend. I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that I was able to get away even just for the weekend to refresh and do something new.
I hope that you all found this video interesting and that you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe below and turn on that notification bell because this makes it so that you can see anytime that I post a video and it's free to you to do. So there's no reason not to. Like this video if you enjoyed it so that it can reach more people. And I hope that you all have a fantastic week. Bye.